Well, everybody, um, made some pretty startling discoveries here now that I've got everything torn apart. Um, you know, I've historically had really good luck, you know, buying used vehicles and them needing, you know, minor maintenance to, uh, to be usable again. But I think on this one, I really, I really screwed up. And again, you know, you can only look at something so much when you buy it. Um, and in this case, I thought I knew what was wrong and it turns out that there was, um, actually much worse, uh, wrong with it than I initially anticipated. So first two major things that I found, I thought one was a huge, I thought one was a total deal breaker. I thought the engine was toast. Um, but then I looked at it a little further and it's workable. So let me show you the two things here that are, that are definitely wrong. Start looking here, you know, these are flat tap it, obviously. Okay. And you can kind of see a little ridge there. Not great. Let's move our way down. Okay, that's not great. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep, oh no, look at that. So this cam lobe is basically totally white. Right here, you know, metal's worn away, which means metal shavings have gone into the motor, um, which means, so you've got metal shavings in the motor for one, you've got um, lower lift on that valve because it doesn't have as much lift, so you need to buy a whole new cam. Chances are the rocker arm on the underside has damage to it, so that needs to be replaced. So that's top end, okay? Um, let's move on to the other issue that I found. So when I bought this thing, um, I knew that it had a leak coming from the front main seal. And then I also saw more recently there was a leak coming from up in this area. Now what I had assumed was it was one of two things. It was either a timing cover seal issue, um, which it kind of is, you look here closely, see that lump right there? Right here? That is JB Weld. Something you never, ever, 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 ever want to see ever on your motor. So here's what I think happened. Um, there's 10 head bolts that hold the head to the block. There is one bolt that's typically hidden that basically bolts the head to the timing cover right here. And I say it's hidden because oil will kind of pull up over the head bolt and you won't see it. And I suspect one of, one of two things happened. Somebody was trying to remove either the timing cover or the head. They didn't know that bolt was connected. You've got to remove the valve cover to get to it. So I think they were probably prying, prying, prying and actually cracked. And let me see if I can show you on the inside see what that? it looks like. You can see a hairline crack right below those teeth. Basically the bottom three or four teeth are pointing right towards it. So what's happening is there's a crack. Oil is working its way through there. Someone knew this. They try to fix this with JB Weld, which is the total wrong thing to do. And pretty much now they've got a leak because oil's coming out. It doesn't need a new the block or anything like that. It just needs a new timing cover. Um, so basically I'm in it now for a timing cover, a camshaft, rocker arm assembly let's just there's a couple bit of time lapse i didn't show and i just want to show kind of what happened since then so i went um i turned the motor over uh so i could get each of the cylinders basically you'll get one and four at top dead center when the um the little keyways are pointing up at 12 o'clock and then if you rotate that till they're pointing down then two and three will be pointing up so i got those pointing up so i could go and just clean off the surfaces as you can see, something happened in here at some point, some piece broke free, maybe that was part of the cam. I don't think it's super detrimental, but there is a little bit of damage. Um, nothing I can do about that. I'm not pulling the pistons out of this thing. So it is torn down to the short block right now. The whole deck has been cleaned um, and it's very smooth to the touch. So all the cylinders are clean, that's totally clean. Um, I also went through, cleaned all the mating surfaces in here. So that's the exhaust manifold's been cleaned. The backside of this little doohickey over here, I removed this whole piece, um, took this out and cleaned the surfaces on that. Obviously you saw me cleaning the front timing cover. If we come down here on the ground, I'll show you the oil pan surface. That is all super clean. Um, made sure that there wasn't anything big sitting on the uh, pickup tube there on the screen. So that is all clean. And then, you know, we're just getting ready now. Um, 
I'll have to come back over here, clean all this stuff up. I did take the carburetor off, that's on the table over here, and I will be rebuilding the carburetor while it's off. Um, but that's all for another part of the video. Last thing I'm gonna show you, this is a tool that I welded and repurposed to help remove that crank. So what this is, this is what you use for like a Chevy if you're doing a um, 12 bolt rear end. This will actually allow you to hold the pinion in place while you put the pinion nut on. So you've got these two square drives here for like a three quarter inch or a half inch drive socket. And something like this would work. Basically you need some, uh, these are eight millimeter by 1.25 metric bolts. Get some good ones like grade, you know, 10 or 12, whatever, um, get some strong ones. And then if, if this was the right pattern, you could just put the bolts through here into where, well, hold on, let me actually show you the whole thing. It's gonna be way easier for me to show you off the vehicle. So this is the harmonic balancer that's removed. This is that 19 millimeter um, bolt that's a huge pain in the butt. And I think the reason for that is this giant built-in washer basically kind of flexes up against that and puts a lot of force. So you're not just fighting the torque of the bolt, but you're fighting the force and the friction between these two surfaces. So um, the stock balancer has drilled and tapped already from the factory. Um, these are an eight millimeter by 1.25 thread. Um, what you can do is I took this, I already have this, and you can make the bolt holes line up. Now, unfortunately, it's not the right bolt pattern. So what I did was I went out to the store and to Ace Hardware and I bought a tiny, um, thinner than this one, the same thickness of this, just like a little spacer, and I welded it to that. So now I could use this and another hole and basically bolt this. And what the spacers are for is they actually go underneath, you know, like so, so that when you, and you've got another one, so you do the same thing, so that when you bolt it to here, it's not sitting totally flush with that. And that allows you the space to get um, another wrench in there. So basically you bolt this to that, you're able to get your 19 millimeters straight through the top so you can get, you know, on this bolt right here. And then you take, you know, another uh, breaker bar ratchet, use the leaf spring or the frame, put it to that, and that way it cannot move at all. And then it's very easy just with some leverage to pop it loose. That way there's no way for the motor to turn over. So hopefully that helps you guys if you were running into you know, some sort of little issue like that. You can make something up or buy something, but this is kind of what you need. Um, these little spacers are super helpful. And, uh, you know, when you do it the right way or you kind of do it the right way, it goes a lot easier. All right, for real, for real, that is gonna wrap it up for this. Um, in the next video, I've still gotta do a little bit more cleaning. I probably won't film that. Um, do the rest of the cleaning and then everything will start going back together. So. Um, we'll throw the new timing set in there. We'll throw the timing cover um, on. I got a new water pump and a new timing cover. So all that stuff will be going back on, new cam, and hopefully we can get this thing to not leak, to idle, and we can go four wheeling. Hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your break. If you're just wrapping up from Thanksgiving break, going back to work tomorrow like I am, um, have a good Monday. Enjoy the rest of your week. See you guys later.